Now, sports from the Western Hearing Clinic Sports Desk. Western Hearing Clinic, the Panhandle's choice for better hearing. Helping you hear what matters most. Well, the heart of the postseason right now for a pair of winter sports. For the Scotts Bluff and Gearing Seacats Swim and Dive Team, it's the state championships taking place today through Saturday at the Devaney Center in Lincoln. Girls competitors were in the pool first this morning. Boys teams will be competing a bit later on this afternoon. All diving competition will wrap up today. Swimming events start tomorrow and the finals on Saturday. And you can always check the NSAA website for results and information regarding the state swimming championships. Basketball continues tonight for boys teams across the region. Sub-district finals, those championship games are this evening. You see the schedule for games tonight, including Bridgeport currently second in C2 power points. They're taking on Hemingford over at Scotts Bluff. Mitchell, the top seed in their sub, having to play Shadron at Shadron State College. All winners tonight advance to district finals either Saturday or if weather gets in the way early next week. So all weather pending at this point. Tomorrow we're going to have two girls district finals here at the station. First up it'll be Mitchell taking on Syracuse in the C11 final being held at North Platte Senior High School. Mitchell hoping to reach the state tournament for a fourth straight season. They got their first ever state tourney win last year in round one against Pierce. Quite the situation to step into for first year head coach Sean Harvey, who has the ultimate luxury at his disposal. 6'3 UNLV recruit Kiana Wilfred. The nice thing about that is she's just that great player, but it also makes the other players, um, especially this year, you know, it just opens things up for them. Um, you know, teams have to, to show a lot of attention to her. Uh, which opens things up and, and uh, been really proud of the way our, our guards have stepped up and uh, they drive the ball well, which opens it up for, for Kiana to get uh, some good touches. Wilfred averaging right at 19 points per game this year, along with nine rebounds and three block shots per contest. Coverage tomorrow here on KDB.TV. We'll have the radio broadcast as well on 101.7 The Trail starting at 145. That'll be a 2 o'clock Mountain Time tip. Also in North Platte tomorrow at St. Pat's High School, it's a little bit of a David and Goliath matchup in the C2-1 final as Baird takes on Hastings St. Cecilia. Baird got a little upset win over Bridgeport to reach tomorrow night's game while St. Cecilia, well, they've got just one loss on the season that came to Class B Northwest. It's sports for a reason and the cliche fits for Baird coach Zach Nesbitt. That's why you play the game. Been good to really see just a lot of like the smiles um, a lot of people in the community kind of coming up and saying good luck and, you know, telling the girls good luck and lots of people asking where we play and what time we play and they really want to be listening in and see how things are going. So um, after such a long, hard season and being in the wintertime and nobody gets out, having kind of that um, boost of morale I think has been good. This one also will be on 101.7 The Trail tomorrow with Jeff Kelly starting at 445 Mountain Time. That one will tip off at 5 o'clock. Cougar sports this weekend, the baseball trip to Kansas to play Barton County, that has been canceled. The softball team, they'll be on the road in Enid, Oklahoma for doubleheaders a couple of days this weekend. And both basketball teams on the road for games at Otero and Trinidad State. That's the latest today from the Western Hearing Clinic Sports Desk. I'm Chris Cottrell. Ryan's coming back with a check of the community calendar right after this here on KNEB.TV.